HIV and AIDS. There are two works in the exhibition which deal with AIDS and the HIV virus. Jane Solomon has chosen to deal with HIV in a different way. She has taken a representation of the HIV virus on a molecular level and turned it into a beautiful repetitive pattern. By making the HIV virus an object of beauty, she's trying to transform our perceptions of the virus and challenge our negatives about it. She talks about how she has repeated the pattern and how that depicts the scale of the problem in South Africa, as well as how it spreads from person to person, and that the only way to stop that spread is to talk about it, not in terms of fear, but openly and honestly, which is only possible if we shift our preconceptions and prejudices about the virus and those infected by it. Dreamcatcher, a work by Christopher Swift, which, if you look closely, is made out of black condoms linked together with cable ties to make a round net which references the Native American tradition of using a dream catcher to protect us from our bad dreams and only allow good ones to get through. If you think about it, condoms play much the same role, protecting us from disease, particularly HIV, which has no cure and can kill, and pregnancy, which can also alter the course of our lives and sometimes make our dreams hard or impossible to attain. The piece also references the arms deal, as the unusual black condoms were made by a company which was set up as part of the development offset program, which was supposed to accompany bids to sell South African weapons. The idea was that companies and countries that would benefit from selling us weapons should give back by creating jobs in the country. This particular factory was closed down as soon as the company's arms bid was rejected.